for you. I hope you're all staying safe and being very, very sensible while going out. It's Mrs. Korea back again and today I'm going to teach you something very, very amazing is to make your own story books, mini story books like the way I have done. This is done by my daughter uh, for the end of the rainbow and she has done some drawings and written her own story and then I've got made one. Still I'm writing that and see this has got pictures and then you can write your own story. So let's start making our own mini story book. For that we require an A4 sheet of paper, scissors, a ruler and a pencil. To start with, what do we need to do? Place your A4 sheet of paper in the landscape field. Okay, so I want you to join the points to the point. First, please be very careful when you're joining. So first put the points to points. Don't press anything. Ensure that they are the point and then glide your hand, the side of your hand across the paper so that you press it straight down but you need to be very careful that your points match the point of the other paper okay once that is done in the same way i want you to join this side to the other side so join this side to the other side use the side of your palm and glide it across the paper and you get a fold sharp fold press it down and another one. Let's again side to the side. Glide your hand to the side of the paper and press it down. Once this is done, what I need you to do is, if you see the last fold that you've got, I want you to draw a point here and a point on the inside. So carefully, first draw a point on the inside and the point on the top. Next bit, open your paper. Let's open it. Can you see the two points? One here and one here. Now, take a ruler and all I need you to do is join those points with a straight line. Do you see the straight line now? Okay. Turn your paper. And I want to join this side to this side again. Carefully. You should be able to do it easily because there's already a line which is folded. Now you see that there is a line in the center of the paper. Look around. What I need you to do is take your scissors and I want you to cut on the line to know right until where the dot stops. Do not cut it all the way through, just up to that end. So, scissors. Cut, cut careful, carefully, right up to the end of the point. So if you see, that's all. You don't have two sheets. Pages are still joined. Okay. Now open landscape again. And you see you got those two points over there still. Now I want you to draw, fold it this way. Carefully, do you see? You get a diamond shape there. I'm going to show you again. This point goes all the way down. So you're just folding on that fold which you made. And it forms a diamond. This is a bit of a tricky bit, so please pay attention closely. This point needs to join this point. So, pinch your fingers onto those points. Join them in the center. And you can see it forms like a star or a plus sign. And this sheet goes on one side. This sheet goes on the other side till you get a rectangle. All you need to do is, on this fold, fold it again. And your book is all ready. It has got eight pages for you to write a short story. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not try and cut on these joints because then it will open up and it will no longer remain a book. And all you need to do, see that your book has a cover page. So like one I have written here, the pot of gold, Mary's little angel, Superman to the rescue, the end of the rainbow. And then you can write your own cover page. Little fun. 
fire fly and draw your lovely fireflies and the pictures of it and then you can write your own story it's up to you what you want to name your story and then you can have your own story with the picture i hope you enjoyed making this lovely mini storybook and i hope you can write many stories just doing the simple thing till then have fun and take care see you soon bye bye